right guys, so this segment is gonna focus on the Lehigh Defense 85 grain extreme cavitator bullet. This is a very uniquely shaped bullet. Get one of them out of here. Um, as you can see, this has a, a square end on it and the sides are cut and ramped. Uh, and this is designed literally to create a, a temporary hydrostatic wound cavity uh, in whatever it's going in. Uh, this is an all copper bullet. Yeah, there is very, very little deformation on this. Uh, the ones I shot out of the 16 inch rifle in the last video, I saw no deformation at all. The ones that I ran out of the AR, uh, I did see in the tip of this um, uh, some flattening where it hit the feed ramps as it fit in. So uh, it does make a little bit of difference there. There was also, I shot these after I shot the Nosler of Armageddon and anywhere it impacted the lead on its way through, it also had a, a, a spot where it might have deformed a little bit. And you'll see that here when I get the close up of these here in just a second. But uh, uh, so very, very interesting little bullet. Lehigh Defense does not even show this bullet uh, in a 300 blackout loading, uh, but they do have it in a 30 carbine loading, which is also very interesting. And I have done those in the past. Uh, I'll have to get some of those back out and put them in some gel block later too and, and just see what 30 carbine can do with this compared to what 300 blackout can. So, all right, before we get started into the range footage, let's take a quick look here at uh, exactly what we've got. So again, this was uh, loaded with a CCI, uh, number 400 small rifle primers, little gun powder from Hodgdon. Uh, the bullet was a Lehigh Defense 308 caliber, 85 grain extreme cavitator and we've got starline brass and here's a loaded round here is the new round we were just looking at and let's see if we can get focused in here this is uh one of the fired bullets from the video that's coming up here and there's the other one i actually fired three of these the other one um, i just had two for each one of the other videos so that's what i pulled out here so uh let's go ahead and get into this and see exactly what this stuff did in the gel block all right, guys, and just because we're here and uh, we've got gel block, even though it's uh, pretty well torn up already, I am going to run some of these uh, Lehigh Defense 84 grain, 85 grain uh, extreme cavitators into this piece of gel block. Uh, I'm really doing this as a follow-up and a velocity check. This is a this is a, a little bit hotter charge than what uh, I used when I did the gel block test with this round a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and, you know, I, I took that velocity and said I can do better than that. And uh, so this is my, my next loading on this. It may not be the top loading, but it is the next loading. And I'm gonna put it on the Garmin here and I'll if it's uh, anything impressive or different than the last time, I'll, uh, I'll have some footage on the gel block here as well. All right, let's get the, uh, let's get the Garmin set up. All right, here we go. Now, I also want to check and see how this round's going to feed in this AR. It is seated fairly short. It does have a pretty funky design on it. So we'll do in a couple of things here. We're going to get velocities and we're going to see if it cycles in the AR. All twenty-six, twenty-six for the velocity. That is a uh, quite a bit faster. Uh, that round did chamber. Let's go see where it went to. Well now, so we got some good penetration on that one. Now, granted, wound track is coming through here. It's a clean wound track. When it gets to right here, it looks like it merges into uh, one of the 190 sub X wound track, so that probably explains why it penetrated so much farther than it did on a previous test. This gel block's pretty well fractured up now. 
So let's go back and do another one. A really good penetration with that one. I'll probably run two more of these in the gel block and then we'll go see what happens. We may actually lose one of these out the back side. Okay, we have our pick of these up. I'm gonna go ahead and call this. We got a three shot group for the velocity. And these things are feeding very well. So uh, here this is, we're sitting right on 30 inches of penetration with all three of these loads. The other one is uh, there at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, ruler in the way. Um, so we were hitting around the 24 inch velocity uh, previous loading. Uh, we're hitting 30 inches now. So we got about six inches more penetration and that is going to account for this being a hotter load. Uh, so I, I did increase the powder on these and uh, the velocity on these is quite a bit faster than previous loading. And uh, the penetration is showing the difference there. So this all copper bullet, 100% weight retention. Let me dig these out and we'll take a look at them. There's the uh, 85 grain extreme cavitators uh, at a much faster velocity. They look really similar to uh, the last ones uh, being Absolutely no deformation, absolutely no weight loss. So just a, a, a sick little round right there with 30 inches of penetration, guys. That's right, guys. So there you got it. Uh, once again, just impressive performance from uh, uh, from this Lehigh Defense Extreme Cavitator Bullet. Uh, if you haven't already, go back and watch the last video, uh, the hydrostatic effect, the slow motion there where it's going through is, is, is pretty impressive too, just like it was this time. Um, Biggest difference between this loading and the other loading, the, the cavitation and the temporary wound cavity at the beginning, uh, I don't know if it was any greater with this loading, but there's definitely a, a difference in the penetration on these. So, uh, you know, that's uh, the extra velocity, you know, it, it's weight times velocity equals energy. And, and that was uh, driving it deeper into the gel block, quite a bit deeper in the gel block, uh, much more. And these things probably would have squirted right on out the backside and kept on going. So. Uh, Anyway, Lehigh Defense 85 grain extreme cavitator loaded with CCI primers and little gun powder in Starline brass. Uh, let's hear your comments. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And Matt from Kentucky Range Time. We'll catch you just in a minute on the next one, I hope. So thanks, guys. See you later.